This is advanced training in using ChatGPT for language teachers and language students. I'm using the latest version of ChatGPT and I'm gonna try and show you some creative ideas. Let me give you a quick taster. ChatGPT, I'd like to practice my Shakespearean English. Can you talk to me as if you were Shakespeare in Shakespearean English? Would that be possible? Of course, kind sir or madam. I shall endeavour to converse with thee in the language of Shakespeare, as best as I can muster. Pray, speaketh thy queries, and I shall strive to respond in kind. ChatGPT, I'd like to practice speaking English, but what I'd like to do is for us to write a story together. You write one sentence of the story, and then I will suggest the next sentence. Can we write the story collaboratively, and can we keep the level to an English at about level B2 on the Sephiroth level? Do you understand the Sephiroth level B2? Can you keep the level of the story to B2? Of course, I understand. Let's keep the story at AB2 level of English proficiency. I'll start. In a small town nestled among rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Lily who dreamed of exploring the world beyond. Lily really wanted to travel and learn about new countries and new cultures. One day, she stumbled upon an old map hidden in the attic of her family's farmhouse, sparking a sense of adventure within her. So that's just a taster. I'm going to try and show you some more ideas. And also I'm going to combine ChatGPT with tools like WordWall and Quizlet. Keep in mind as well that these ideas don't only work in English. They will actually work in multiple languages as all we need to do is download the voice control that goes with ChatGPT and that actually works in many languages. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you want to try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there and there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works and I'll also put that in the description. Now you will need the voice tool for ChatGPT. I'm aware of course that if you have the app version of ChatGPT it already has a voice tool in it but on the PC at the moment that isn't available and it might not be available for a while. Um, if you click uh, here and you can see that I've got it you can notice also that it doesn't just work in English as you can see it works in multiple languages and for me for example learning Polish it's great news that it works in Polish let me just quickly point out how you need to get this app onto your computer it's very very simple so what I'll do is I'll actually remove it from my computer so that you can actually see. So just come down to extensions, just come over to the left here on Google Chrome browser, come down to extensions, manage extensions, and the one that you're looking for is called voice control for chat GPT. And I'm gonna remove it and then I'm gonna add it. So I'll just click there and I've now removed it. So how do I install that again? Let me quickly show you. So all I've done is written voice control for ChatGPT for Google Chrome. Make sure you go to the Chrome Web Store, click here, and then the only button that you need to click on actually is this one here, add to Chrome. Okay, and that will actually add it. Now sometimes when you go back to um, OpenAI, you will need just to refresh your um, browser in fact i've not even needed to do that look it's already ready but sometimes you do need to refresh your browser so i'm going to show you a more creative way of making flashcards with quizlet and i'm going to work with chat gpt i really like this activity and i just find it a lot more cognitive chat gpt can you write 10 sentences in the present simple talking about everyday actions that people do can we keep the level of those sentences to level a two on the English Sephra level. What I'd like is to have the sentences in column one with the complete sentence, but in column two, I'd like the same, same sentences, but only the first word and the last word. And can you put a hyphen between the first word and the last word? Is that clear? Okay, uh, this is something I really like doing, okay? And so what I've now got is these sentences. What I'm gonna do with they do is I'm gonna copy those sentences and I'm gonna put them 
into, in fact, let's do it in Quizlet for this example. So I'm gonna jump over now to Quizlet and show you how I would set this activity up. Now I am aware that you've got AI in Quizlet, but at the moment you can't speak to Quizlet to generate content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cl click on flashcards. I'm gonna click on create from scratch. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put just a little title. I'm gonna call this present simple gaps. This is something I personally really like doing in Polish. It seems to help me a lot. I'm gonna click on import now and just paste in those sentences and immediately they will be generated. Now, why do I like this game? Well, I'm gonna click on create and there's a note. Sometimes you have to click on the very first card just to make sure that it's picked up the language. I'm gonna click on create. I don't know why this works for me, but it just really helps me to understand and kind of practice the words. Let's do the flashcards. So click on flashcards. And there is one really important thing. Go to the options and make sure that we're gonna finish with the definition and that we turn on the audio. Now, if we play this she activity, wakes up early in the morning. I'm gonna click over now and I've got she, to- morning. And I've got to try to remember. So she wakes up early in the morning. I'm gonna move to the next sentence. He eats breakfast before going to work. He work. He eats breakfast before going to work. Now, obviously, that's pretty easy for me to do in English. In Polish, it is very difficult. I, I have recently made a video where I focus on five AI tools, which are great for developing students' autonomous learning, including Quizlet. And I'll put that on the screen now because that's a great video to watch because there are actually five different technologies that I show you. Really quick break from the video, just a few seconds. If you like what you see and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's a menu system along the top that you can make use of, but if you scroll down on the first page, you'll see lots and lots of videos. I specialize in the use of technology for both teachers and students in the domain of language learning. Now, if you really wanna follow what I do, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. If you sign up to the newsletter, you get updated with all the latest videos. You also get updated on the webinars that we run and they're often free, just like the one that you can see on the screen now and also the blog posts and the courses that I run. But most interestingly, at the moment, if you sign up, you get a free 14 part video course where I basically highlight the most popular technologies on my website and on my YouTube channel that teachers and students have commented on. And there's about 14 videos in total and nearly everything that I recommend is free. Right, let's get back to the video. Don't forget, if you're finding this video useful, please like, please share, please comment on it because it really helps me. I'm going to show you now a lovely activity combining ChatGPT with WordWall. And I'm going to show you in WordWall an activity that I love, that I noticed a lot of teachers don't use and are not actually even aware of. And it's a memory game that's really good for vocabulary and sentences. ChatGPT, can you write me 20 sentences in the present simple at level A2, Sephra level A2, just 20 sentences on the topic of daily routines? Can you organize those sentences into a column in a table for me, please? A2 level sentences one. I wake up at 7 a.m. She brushes her teeth after Okay, so I've got the sentences now, and this is what I'm gonna do with these sentences. This is really important. I'm gonna copy those sentences, and I'm gonna jump over to WordWall and show you an activity that a lot of teachers often don't use, and which I think is really good. So in the past, I've been lucky enough to do some presentations on behalf of WordWall, so I know the product very well. And I'm gonna come down in the activities. The one that I'm looking for is watch and memorize. I'm gonna click on that and just paste in those sentences, as easy as that, very, very simple. And now we're gonna play the game. I'm gonna just call this 20 sentences in the present simple. Okay, but let's so just put that there so that I know. Very simple game, this is a lot of fun, this one. I'm gonna click on done. So the idea of the game is that you've got to see a certain number of sentences flash across the screen. And if we come down here, we can choose to say, for example, I'm gonna choose the speed to be five and I've got to remember five sentences. So it's gonna show me those five sentences then it's gonna show me all 20 and it's gonna say, well, choose the five that you've just seen. So I really like this because it kind of exposes you to 
lots of language. You can use it for vocabulary. You can include pictures as well when you do this activity. I'm just doing it with sentences, but it's great for sentences. It's great for practicing the present simple or the past. If I click here, the game starts and you'll see that the sentences will come across. So eat lunch at 12.30, check emails in the morning, brushes her teeth, he drives to the work every day and calls her parents every evening, right? Okay, so now the sentences will come up on the screen, all of them, and I've got to try to remember those sentences, okay? And if you can see, and then basically the idea is that I've got to click on what I think are the correct ones. So for example, I click on that and I get that one right. Uh, let's try, for example, and that one's wrong, notice. And then let's try another one. Let's try this one here. So then I click on that. That was another one correct. Uh, let's see, for example, if I can get another one correct. Let's try that one there. That's not, and I'm running out of time. Maybe 30 seconds actually isn't enough. Remember, you can always change the game and maybe set it to, to be for 45 or 50 seconds, etc. And of course, once you've played the game, you can play again. I love this. I think it really helps me. And I do this in Polish a lot. Great uh, option in WordWall. I have actually done an advanced training on using WordWall and showing you many of the things that teachers don't know about. And if you're interested in that video, I'll put it on the screen now and you can click and watch that video. Really glad that you stayed to the end of the video. And don't forget what I mentioned. If you sign up to the newsletter on teachertrainingvideos.com, there is a 14 part course. It's completely free. There are no tricks uh, in using technology in teaching and learning. And nearly everything that I recommend is free. If you do want to contact me about doing some training with you, perhaps with your institution, you can contact me from the website. I run workshops, I do lots of conferences. I sometimes even do one-to-one -one training on very specialized technologies like Zoom and Camtasia. Finally, if you'd like to have live training with me, uh, then you can join me on Patreon. For just $6 a month, you get the chance to meet me online with the rest of the Patreon group. We normally look in detail at a particular technology and then we do activities with it so that we learn it really well. And I often show the teachers things that they don't realize about these technologies. And apart from that, I also add up videos onto Patreon that I don't use or don't add on to my YouTube channel. These are often technologies that I've not covered on YouTube or I go into more detail. So for example, you can see here on the screen now several videos that I've uploaded and we haven't covered these aspects on uh, YouTube. So if you're interested in that live training with me plus extra content that I put onto Patreon, the cost is $6 a month, then please join me. I'd love to see you on Patreon as well. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.